Hi ladies, this is Tina. This is your exclusive video for placing a $100 order with me this last month. We're gonna make this really cute card. It looks like this and it has this window in it. And I messed up back here, I realized probably don't want to see that so we'll fix that when I make this but if you hear any noise in the background Wendy's here she's typing away on her computer so you're just hanging out with us so no worries so um this is not a card kit that I offer to send out but you could make this really easily so let me turn my lights on let me get this together I don't usually have an audience in my craft room so I'm a little nervous so watch me make some mistakes Okay, so here is, you start out with a piece of very vanilla cardstock and you just cut it at five and a half and it's gonna give you your normal size card, but then you're gonna have to cut another piece. So I don't remember what, how I cut this, so let's just measure. So it's two inches. So then it'd be like what? You would put it, this is what I did. I put it on my trimmer and I used this, can you guys see this mark right here? the fold mark to trim I wanted a little bit of space for my window portion that was really technical it was a really technical term okay so then you have a window piece and these were super fun to make I made a ghost card I don't know I got addicted to making these um, window ones so I just have a piece of our acetate it's like a window sheet you can get that from Stampin' Up so what I did I, I did this a couple times and it was hard to figure out how to make every hide everything. I'm not good at these technical types of cards. So the first thing you're going to do is this is a piece of designer paper from the fall type paper in our catalog. I don't know you guys all you guys have a supply list or I'll send you one. There'll be one for this card. Let me find some adhesive because I forget the name of this paper. But it has this really pretty foiling on it. It's the copper foiling. So this is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. You just stick this right inside your card because you want that pretty um, design to, to show through the window part, okay? So then there's a piece of, I cut this copper foil sheet. Okay, so I, this is gonna go right here. I'm gonna show you the way this is all gonna go. And then this part is gonna go here. So this is what's gonna hide the window sheet. So we're gonna stick the window sheet on here and you want your window sheet to come all the way to the end of your card. It's really hard to see because it's clear, but you'll want this to come all the way to the end of your card. So what I do is I just put a little bit of adhesive right here because remember this is gonna, we're gonna hide that. And then. Okay, we're using soft suede for the sentiment and I used the sentiment out of this stamp set because when we make our pumpkin right here the top of this pumpkin is actually the punch from this set it's this piece right here so when I was trying to figure out how to make the top of this pumpkin I saw this punch and pulled it out and then I had thought I might stamp to give it some dimension and so then I decided to use the sentiment from that same set so we're just gonna stamp in soft suede I should have stamped before I put everything together in case I messed up but we'll just go with it okay so now let's, again it's from that same designer paper so one of my favorite things to do is make pumpkins or color pumpkins in the fall. I think they're really easy to color um, and learn to color different ways because you pretty much know what a pumpkin looks like. It's not too difficult. And then putting together pumpkin punch art is fun as well. So I just put these two pieces together. They're striped, it's hard to see. So I just put those two pieces together and then I'm gonna use my sponge dauber and a little bit of soft suede ink and we're just gonna ink around the edges just to define those edges. These 
the reason I did these pumpkins this way was because I got a, two coffee cups um, at the beginning of fall and they had these pumpkins on them that were kind of like this. They, I got a tablecloth and two coffee cups that were like this. It reminded me of this design. And so I put together this card. I wanted to do something to put together the card. My husband came home later that night. Uh, it was a couple nights later because I had already made the cards. And he said to me, this card reminds me of that co those coffee cups you just got. And I started laughing. And I was like, there's a reason. So then this is the very top of the pumpkin. And I just tuck this in here. Just put a little bit of adhesive. You could ink it if you wanted. Just like that. So now I want it hanging over the window piece, but on this one, you can see that I, you can see the foam and I don't want that. So I'm just going to put adhesive, I think just putting adhesive on here is what's gonna work best. And you can make your pumpkin, um, this one's a little bit taller, not so wide. So just play around with your ovals to get the right look for your pumpkin. But then that is the card. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your orders. And I hope you enjoyed this exclusive video. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. You can check out the other card that I did with the window in there by just clicking on the middle of this photo and it will take you over to the ghost. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.